Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be going on a 107 mile canoe trip. There's four of us all together, two canoes. We'll be going down the Allegheny River. Our second canoe with Nick and Josh are in front of us a little bit and they seem to have hit a ground here, or at least hit a few shallow spots. So we're kind of taking, taking their lead and uh, if it works, we're doing what they're doing. If not, we're detouring. Right this second, the river's speeding up just a little bit and we're trying to avoid what they kind of grounded on. It seems like we've done that. Copy. So the river's pretty flat primarily. Between these islands and some of the channels, the current picks up. We had a pretty quick day on the water on our first day, and today we've got class twos coming up. The water's up a little bit. The river water's controlled by the Kidzu Dam. And it's gone up the last two days in a row. But this section here is a little bit choppy. But that beats drag in the canoe. Yeah, not bad. So while I'm paddling, go ahead and take a second and click like, click subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified of my next video. So for the first 50 miles of this trip, we got the Allegheny River Paddle Guide from Allegheny Outfitters, and it's been a pretty badass map and guidebook. It's been spot on with time and mileage and landmarks but we're running out of it very shortly here. This is actually a fairly undocumented river. We were having a heck of a time finding maps. We've got paper backups once we get off our guidebook map and there's like a five mile stretch of unmarked river. So we don't quite know what's up ahead of us. And very soon we're gonna be off our laminated map and we're just floating with the current at that point. Camping's gonna get sketchy. We were through uh, National Forest, Allegheny National Forest. They had like island camping. There were seven islands. We've camped on two islands so far. Great camping, looks nice. But uh, coming up here, I don't know what we're gonna end up getting. If we paddle hard enough, it'll seem like a good campsite when we get there. The uh, wind, you'd never be able to hear paddling. Here's canoe number two, Nick and Josh. We brought them along for our stunt doubles. <laughs> For the coming rapids it was in my uh contract that i couldn't do anything too dangerous so we had to get these guys they're setting the pace and finding all the big rocks ahead of us we found a few mm -hmm. so the name of the would be a rock finder a rock finder a rock hound we could do that Say hi. Close up.
right now we're about 15 minutes from our pullout point. So we are probably, I don't know, 105 miles, 106 miles into this or something. So I'm gonna call it good. We got bad weather rolling in. So I'm gonna put the camera away before it gets wetter than it already did on this trip. But it's been a great trip. I highly suggest the Allegheny River. Uh, it's, it's a good trip. It's been four days, three nights, uh, pretty good camping the whole way through. A wild camp the whole time, basically. And I got it all done with the homemade paddle here. So this was a pine uh, two by, or it was a pine five quarter by six inch board. I uh, probably will go with an eight inch wide for a beaver tail later. But this has been a good paddle. Got me all 100 miles. Uh, the finish has held up really good. It's been pushed off rocks. It's went through rapids. We did hit rapids in Oil City. And there was a couple big swell that we encountered. But it's all good. So until next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.